It's important to know the weight of any load you're lifting to ensure proper rigging. So today, we're going to calculate the weight of a pole. In most cases, you can find this information by contacting the manufacturer or the engineering department. However, if you're in a situation where you can't get the information you need, you can use some simple calculations to figure it out. In order to find the weight of a pole, we need to know its volume. To do this, we'll use this formula. The first symbol in the formula is pi. The next part asks for the radius, which is half the diameter of a circle. Since poles are tapered, we'll take the average of the top and bottom radiuses, also known as the centerline radius. So for this pole, it has a top radius of 7 and 3 quarter inches and a bottom radius of 9 and a half inches. To make the calculations easier, round up any pole measurements to the nearest whole number. Now, add the two numbers together and divide by 2. Our centerline radius is 9 inches. The last part of the formula asks for the pole's length, which is located on the brand. It's important to use the same unit of measurement throughout the whole formula. Since the pole's length is given in feet, we'll multiply by 12 to convert it to inches. So for this example, our 35-foot pole is 420 inches. All right, now we have all the information we need to calculate the pole's volume. So we'll take pi times 9 squared times 420. And our pole has a volume of 106,877 cubic inches, which is how many of these 1-inch cubes are in the pole. Now that we know the volume of our pole, we need to find its density. You can think of density as the weight of a 1-inch cube of material you're working with. By looking at the brand, we know the pole's made from fur. And doing a quick internet search, we know that the density of fur is 0 0.0185 pounds per cubic inch. Again, remember to use the same unit of measurement. Since the pole's volume was calculated in cubic inches, the density needs to be in cubic inches as well. So by multiplying 106,877 by 0 0.0185, we find that the pole's weight is 1,977 pounds. Keep in mind, this doesn't take into consideration the preservative added to the pole. Northwest Lyman College performed a survey of pole manufacturers and found that adding 10% to the total weight of the pole will cover the treatment applied. You can easily do this by multiplying the pole's weight by 1.1. So this increases the total weight of our pole to 2,175 pounds. Now that you know how to perform this calculation, try practicing on a few poles at work. Remember, you can watch this video as many times as you need until you're comfortable with the calculations.